Hello everyone. People always asking how to get rid of uh, awful smell, stinky smell of uh, processed oil. Actually, it's quite easy and not really expensive. It's still chemical way of treatment, but uh, it's not expensive and all materials are absolutely available. So what would you need for that? Now to treat, I'll tell you to treat 10 liters, 10 liters of uh, homemade fuel, you will need a little bit of alcohol, a little bit of alcohol. This one is homemade, but it's about 90% uh, alcohol. You can get uh, alcohol from any convenience store to treat 10 liters you will need approximately 20 milliliters of alcohol uh, let's start from very beginning you need to have uh, some sort of uh, uh, funnel or hopper conical one like that fill it up with your oil processed oil that's about to become your fuel you fill it up and then you have to switch a small air pump compressor whatever not really strong and you need to start to bubble the system so the oil bubbling uh, also you will need some metal mesh at the bottom of your hopper then you will need just a little bit of uh, silica gel crystals in this case it's a cat liter so to treat 10 liters you would need approximately i would say with this particular method method uh, about uh, half a liter not half a kg half a liter of silica gel you put it first so the main purpose of silica gel in this case is to protect our metal mesh so it wouldn't be clogged so we add some silica gel first and now oil is bubbling i'm not gonna switch on the compressor because this one is already treated and i'm waiting for settling so you added some silica gel first then you add approximately 20 milliliters of alcohol you can do it without alcohol but alcohol improves the uh, odor then you add approximately you're adding approximately uh, 50 grams of baking soda And it's all bubbling it's bubbling uh, bubbles just mixing everything it's sort of mixer so if you got some different type of mixer you can use it but because it's a hopper you need the conical construction to collect water after all so it's better to bubble because there's no mixer would be able to pick the liquid from the bottom of the conical hopper now after we added some silica gel alcohol and soda we're adding approximately uh, 100 milliliters of plain water i just got this bottle for some different purposes so just the plain water 50 milliliters of water from 50 to 100 milliliters of water 100 milliliters would do and it's still bubbling because of air mixing the stuff and after all you're adding approximately 20 milliliters of triethanolamine this one is a, uh, usually sold as a uh, epoxy glue hardener but not every epoxy glue hardener would have this uh, uh, this particular properties you you would need one that actually uh, amine based so it's a triethanolamine 
and you leave it bubbling for for one hour something like that after that you'll switch off your pump you switch off your pump shut the well at the bottom so nothing goes down to the pump and to the pump and you wait for a few hours you may wait for one day or something until all the water all the moisture and dirt gets onto the bottom then next day or a few hours later open up your valve at the bottom of the hopper slowly and collect some water first and then you can remove the fuel so the fuel should become more like that it's not transparent yet but it's much clear I'll show you in uh, another sample that I've been taking from from this batch just just before the treatment hold on I don't know if you can see here's a comparison one is darker another one is lighter and it doesn't stink anymore it smells more like a normal fuel would do so it would settle become transparent then you filter it out and use this is it thank you very much hello everyone uh, now we're gonna check what what happens to our fuel after yesterday's uh, treatment now it's been treated and filtered through the filter filled up with silica gel now we're gonna open up the valve and check what sort of oil what sort of fuel color transparency we're gonna get from uh, from our processed oil after filtration Now you can see difference. The soil uh, is after treatment, settling, and filtration. Everything very fast, relatively easy, and relatively cheap. This one is the old method with some silica gel still inside. Uh, it's getting better, but it's not as transparent. Not as transparent and. Uh, still a bit stinky though so this fuel is ready for usage in internal combustion engine now One more thing, the fuel after this treatment has the odor of, uh, of, a diesel, of a diesel fuel, of a normal diesel fuel. It's not stinky, it's not yucky, it's good, good color, good odor, normal fuel.
So as you can see, the actual viscosity or gravimetric pressure of this particular fuel is uh, 850, 840, I would say 840 kg per, per thousand liters of volume. So it's just right in the middle within the requirements of the diesel fuel. It's all transparent, it's yellow. And uh, people were asking about um, titan, titan ratio. I would think titan ratio is okay. Uh, because all we know that diesel engines, they're oil engines. Also, I'm using some additives uh, for titan ratio increasement. So there's no problem at all. Viscosity is right. It's not as dry as the modern diesel fuel that ruins all the diesel engines. It's all clean, transparent. Also, uh, it's possibility to run what it's called uh, copper stripe test to make sure that uh, this particular fuel is not corrosive but it won't be corrosive, I know about that and this is it